what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so in this video we're going to be talking more today about jeepers creepers 4 and things that we could expect not only in this film but in uh upcoming entries since this is supposed to be the start of a new trilogy for them that's what their intentions are we'll see how things go with jeepers creepers 4 because we still don't have too many details on what type of release it will get it seems the plan is for it to be released in the fall sometime whether that be theatrically or not i don't think that was made clear i would think the hope is to release it theatrically finally you know not having all of that victor salva backlash involved anymore hopefully but again we'll see they want to do a, a fifth and sixth entry after after this one that's what the intention is based off the reports that came out late last february or late this past february when we got the announcement that jeepers creepers 4 was coming out later this year so as you see in the thumbnail we're going to be talking about trisha a bit so i know at the end of Jeepers Creepers 3, the one that we thought was going to be what we what we thought would take us 23 years later after what had been teased at the end of Jeepers Creepers 2, 13 or 14 years prior to this third film being released. We see Trish at the end of this film that ends up being a prequel where, again, jumping 23 years later, she's now, of course, much older. She has like news news clipping articles of things that she's been doing and researching that looks like regarding Poho and the Creeper and this there's even reports of the barn the tagger barn i think spread out across her desk or some of the shots that we see when she's talking and making her stance known that she will be back to take down the thing that killed her brother um and then, you know she makes that that threat towards it at the end so now we have jeepers creepers were born that is going to be taking us in a completely different direction it seems we're not even going to be picking up with trish as we got teased at the end of the third film the same way how the third film didn't pick up with the taggarts as it was teased at the end of the second film so you know it's kind of fitting at this point just keep up keep up that shtick uh <laughs> so like in jeepers creepers 4 we're going to be following chase and lane these two people who are boyfriend and girlfriend they seem to be traveling out of the states and the only reason i'm making that assumption is because the two the actor or the actress that plays lane again uh sydney craven if you see my other videos you can go check that out sydney craven seems to be the person who will be playing the meet the meet the, the lead girl lane she'll be playing the girlfriend uh she's kind of forced to travel to this horror convention in louisiana where it's hosting this first ever time being in louisiana and then she starts having premonitions about this myth urban myth of the creeper and all of this other stuff regarding the, the area that she's in that we are assuming is still going to be poho county so when we have a synopsis like that um and then knowing that they're it says they're traveling from far and wide and then knowing that the actress herself has like she has a uk history i think she's from the uk so i don't see these people having um and i've heard them they have accents not to say they can't pull off an american accent but these people being having non non-american accents don't be surprised at that i just want to throw that out there because i've looked up a lot of these a lot of these actors and actresses some of them are they have those they have those accents those non-american accents when it comes to speaking the english language so if they have that that's why they're traveling from out of the states so the other thing i want to address with that since we know that that's what the film seems to be centered on where does that leave trish trish probably won't have a big as a role in this film as she would have had if victor salva got to make his incarnation of jeepers creepers 4 because we know gina phillips did that interview where she talked about the script already being written and victor had written in things that trish had been going through over the past 23 years leading up to all of these moments and events that we could expect in the upcoming fourth film where she teams up with presumably the taggart still and they go after and take out the creeper so where does she now fall in now that it doesn't seem we'll be following her now this is again assuming because we don't know yet assuming jeepers creepers were born jeepers creepers 4 is still going to be set in the same continuity i believe it is i have many things to indicate that it will be uh certain things that i have been asked to stop sharing so i won't be sharing those but I have good reason to believe it's still a part of the same universe they're not doing a complete restart this will be picking up 23 years later uh those of you who follow me out on my social media you know the things that we have seen to support this so this thinking that it's 23 years later with trisha not being the one we're following she could appear at some point down the road in this film or in the fifth or sixth film because what should happen is or what i would hope is happening they don't try to do a thing where they're taking the creeper outside of 2024 and then they're going to jump 23 more years don't don't do that do what francis ford coppola convinced victor salva to do for jeepers creepers 2 just have this new trilogy placed in the same 23 day 23 day cycle in the same year 
You could do something similar to what Halloween, Halloween Kills, and Halloween Ends are doing. It doesn't need to be set in the same night, of course, but it can be set across the span of several days, similar to how the first trilogy is in itself. The first Jeepers Creepers trilogy, if you watch them in chronological order, they're set over the span of the last few days within his cycle. You could do that here again with this new trilogy. That's what I would hope. And then the cycle comes to an end. So that leaves room for Trisha to, of course, appear at some point to help out these new characters, assuming they make it out of the fourth movie alive. And assuming this is again, recognizing the previous films, Trisha could show up later on to help out. She could show up in Jeepers Creepers 4 because Gina Phillips could be one of these cast members that we don't know about and we probably still will not know about for quite some time i hope not because there is supposed to be some type of big not big but some type of more behind the scenes content or something related to the film released this week the jeepers creepers reborn official uh, social media accounts made that clear on their stories on instagram and twitter something is going to be coming out regarding this film this year to let us know a little bit more details about what we should expect hopefully some behind the scenes stuff so hopefully we get an indication of what's going to happen trisha could still appear in this film she could show up at this event after tracking the thing down at the event because let's just assume trisha lives further out away from all of this now so this would she would need some time to get there so while she's driving there uh this would this would explain why she wouldn't appear in the film until later on while things start getting crazy she could drive by the taggart barn and the taggarts of course are not there ray wise uh jack taggart senior would probably be dead i've seen you guys say he probably shouldn't die killing off the character that survived the last one isn't always a good idea or using him to start the second one i think uh that stems from a lot of people not being happy not saying this is everyone Friday the 13th fans who are not happy with the fact that Alice got killed at the beginning of Friday the 13th Part 2. I hear that. I hear you on that level. But I think Jack Taggart Sr. should die at the opening of Jeepers Creepers Reborn. I think that, that character should die. Uh, but yeah, I think Trish could still appear. She could show up in this convention uh, more or less a style of Sarah Connor in a way. But not actually Sarah Connor. <laughs> so she could show up and and lend her knowledge and her assistance to these new group of characters in this trilogy that's what i would hope to see i hope gina phillips is back as trish let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below would you want to see trisha back would you want to see her story uh finished or completed even though she won't be the centerpiece if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and then this video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.